Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and I'm here this evening to continue with the cookie decorating that we started last week. So last week we um, started doing some ice creams and various bits and pieces. Um, we had to finish early because there was a demonstration on Sugar and Crumbs. Let me put my comments up for a second so I'm not going to know what's going on, am I? <laughs> there we go. Um, there was a demonstration so we finished early. So now we're going to complete the rest of the demonstration and I'm going to show you how to do some decorating. So tonight is going to be cookie decorating and then I'm back on Thursday at half past 11 when I will be doing a cake so I'm going to be doing a birthday cake on um, Thursday lunchtime or half past 11 so remember if you're watching it live that's lovely if you are at work then you can come back and watch it another time so don't feel like you've missed out just because you're at work you will be able to see it then so um, yes I will be that back on that day there it's very hot <laughs> we have had well, we've had the fan on and now we've had to turn it off because it's very loud. So my hair's all over the place. So I, <laughs> just, I look like summer completely at the moment. So there we go. And I'm not alone. So I have got Kelly with me this evening. Hello. So Kelly is here with us today. So we're going to be doing cookies um, and uh, hopefully we're going to get started in a minute. We're going to show you a whole range. We're not as much under pressure to get off quickly um, this time. Maureen says she's sorry she's late. I said, <laughs> Why are you getting I can see these coming up. Mine aren't coming oh, they're not Mine keeps freezing. Oh, well, I, mine's not freezing. I can see everything going on. Maureen's saying she's late. I've only just come on. So there you go. <laughs> We're all late today. So don't worry. It's the weather, isn't it? So um, so what I've done is I've prepped up some of the cookies tonight already. Some I'm going to do with more icing. Some I'm going to do with sugar paste. Um, some I'm going to do um, with some of the transfer images that we've got now. And um, then you'll be able to kind of get a good idea of what kind of things you can do with cookies because you don't just have to um, lose royal icing or you don't just have to use um, what's I going to say sugar paste or any of those things so we're going to make up lots of different ones for you to do we're going to start with a pizza in a second so we've got a little pizza kit that we're going to show you then we're going to move on to um, ice creams we've got mason jars we've got new cutters everyone oh no <laughs> We have got some new cutters that have arrived today. Um, it does mean that um, there is a tiny weeny delay while we wait for the rest of the stock come in, but all our samples have arrived today. So, of course, I've been frantically... I'm looking at Kelly. She's not picked up on that yet. Yeah, Kelly's I been know. frantically baking. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Kelly's been baking this afternoon. So we have got... Um, some new cookie cutters to show you as well but if you do order them there will be a minor delay um, of a few days also going back to the cake toppers which I talked about last week they are still on offer I left them on offer while I was away and because I've split this demo in half I felt it was unfair to show you the second half and not keep it on offer so if any if you want to order any of the cake toppers um, then you have um, the opportunity to get 10% off using the code cake topper but Kelly will put up the links in a second and then you'll know be able to see what's going on on that part okay right okay let's have a look at the camera let's turn that one down so we're going to look at pizzas first so this is our pizza cookie cutter and we're going to make a pizza um we've got a kit that you can do that or likewise if you just want to get the cookie cutter itself then we've got that as well so we're going to just show you what we do with it and then you can decide kind of how you want to do it and what you want to get up to with it. it's a really nice um one to do we're going to do a unicorn themed um, pizza because of course all pizzas are unicorn themed not uh, this one may well be so we're going to um, use royal icing to start with now I have already made up mine in advance and I have used whipping it up I've used velvet vanilla so if you are familiar with this product then you will know that there is it comes in a bag of 500 grams from sugar and crumbs let me take this down 500 grams from sugar and crumbs and you can add approximately 70 grams <laughs> or milliliter. Are you right Kelly? Yeah sorry. <laughs> just choking. Don't keel over we've only just started. Um, 70 grams 70 millilitres same sort of weight of water tap water to it to make royal icing. When you've made up your royal icing so you beat it all together because this has got egg in it already we can then start decorating our cookies so that's how you do it. It's very straightforward put this in a bowl 70 grams or 70 millilitres of tap water and then beat it with an electric whisk 
royal icing. Very, very straightforward, not difficult at all. And if this is too much, then you can always use half the packet and half the water. It's very easy. So you don't feel like you have to make up the entire packet. You can make up half of it. So don't ever worry about that. Let me put that over there so I don't knock that off, which I probably will. <laughs> okay, so we've got some that I made up earlier today. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to dye it pink. So for those of you that have just joined us, we're about to make a unicorn pizza, of course. Um, now what we're going to do, we've got lots of little bowls and things here, I'm just going to turn this around and give myself marginally more space, there we go, and we're going to put some royal icing, let me get hold of it, I've got some made up in another bowl you see, so I've got that separate, what we'll do is we'll make up a fair bit of pink because I can use that for something else as well, so we may as well have a lot, okay. So we're going to add some water to this and we're going to add some pink um, gel colour. I'm just going to wipe it because as usual it's all covered in everything under the sun. I don't know what people are like when they have their gel colours. Oops, there's my charging lead that's holding, <laughs> holding my phone together. Okay, so we're going to use this colour splash pink and we're going to pop that in. So we do that first. I do tend to use gel colours mainly, however... Um, the ice cream cone colour is autumn leaf which is a paste colour but we'll come to that later on and then what we'll do is we'll just put in a little bit of water put in a tiny bit more don't want to put in too much I'll be going backwards otherwise okay and then we'll start mixing that up and we're going to be looking for a consistency that is basically about 15 seconds where we pull it through 12 to 15 seconds where we pull this through like so and then it resettles so that's what we're looking for okay so that's quite a nice pink color i quite approve so far so good let's add in a little bit more water though because it's not runny enough yet so if we want it to have to be careful with this because i don't want to put in too much too quickly oh just like that let's just tip that little bit out Okay, there we go. All right, let's have another go. So we have a tried and trusted cookie recipe as invented by Miss Kelly Mann. Um, we, <laughs> we do have the recipe available on a recipe card, which is laminated. So it's a nice recipe card that you can um, purchase. Now it costs, we charge you for the cookie recipe laminated, what we pay for it to get it laminated. So it is on the website. Kelly will put a link up for you in a second. So what we're looking for now is we're looking for this to start settling which it not yet so we're going to add a bit more water to it we would be cautious with this i'll show you what to do if we have too much in there we can always rescue it i'm going to put a bit more pink in actually it's sort of like it to be even pinker so let's put a bit more of the gel in there we go right a bit of a mix I'm going for it now we'll make it super pink color a very pink unicorn pizza that's what we're going for so let's see how this is settling what I don't want this to do is run everywhere so what we do is a little test and we're going to take our palette knife we're going to pull this through the royal icing and count to 15 now when I get to 12 to 15 if it resettles so the line goes flat within that time then we know it's the right consistency for the job that we're about to do so let's have a little look so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's nowhere near it. Let's put a little bit more in. I can see that already because it would be a lot quicker than that. A little bit more water. You can't cheat on this. You can't speed up your counting. <laughs> it's a consistency thing. We need to get it right. Make sure you've mixed it right to the bottom as well because otherwise that will affect it. No, it's still too bit more. Okay. Let's try that now, shall we? Are we ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Can you see that line down the middle there? That is what we're trying to get rid of within that time frame. So I think literally a drop 
and we're going to be there. So that's the consistency we're looking for when we do this particular job. Now when we come to decorate something like this we want to have all our decorations ready before we put the royal icing on otherwise um, we won't be able to stick them on in time. So let's try again. So we're going to pull this through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think we're near enough there. Am I having Mr. Whippy withdrawal symptoms? No, because I'm going to make it. <laughs> seen the comments Kelly I don't know oh, I can see them all <laughs> I literally can only see the stuff I'm posting oh I can see it all wait go out and reload it Kelly I've done that twice already have you are you in two three four Fifteen, just about there, just about, tiny bit more, and we'll call it quits. Right, okay, so we're going to use this to do our unicorn pizza. So I've cut out seven pieces. Like so. Can you see things? If not, can we Yeah, see? I can now. I've just seen Mary said it. The <laughs> thing is, I can see my comments, but I couldn't see anyone else's. So I was thinking, oh, it's very quiet tonight. But you can see them now. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to make unicorn pizza. So we've got 12 pizza slices that are, sorry, seven pizza slices, not 12, that we've cut out. Um, we've also got some little unicorns. I'm going to show you what these look like that come on a sheet. Here they are. These are our little unicorns that we're going to use to decorate. So we've got our little tiny unicorn to sleep on here. And what we've done is we've gone round them and we've cut them out like so. So we've got a little unicorn per pizza slice and we've taken off the plastic backing that goes on the back of there. Did you cut seven out, Kelly? Yeah. Good, uh, good girl. Um, so we've taken off the plastic backing and we're going to use those on our unicorn pizzas. And we're also going to, here they come again, with our most favourite thing ever, the return of the sparkly balls, they are back, and we're going to use those to decorate the unicorn pizza as well. So there we go, we've got all our bits ready. Right, let's get a bag. Actually, the only other thing I haven't got is a glass, Kelly. Can you shift this one in the cupboard, please? Glass, or cup? glass preferably, because then I can put this bag in. It saves me having to juggle. The one in the left-hand side, all mug. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, it's just easier to put everything in a mug. There we go. Everything to put in a mug with your piping bag, much easier than trying to juggle any other way. So we're gonna pour our icing in. And actually once it's in there, it's not going to go off or anything, is it? Because we're gonna be sealing it. Whereas if I leave it in this container, it's not gonna do it any good at all. So we're better off getting it all put away. Let's make sure we've got it all out, which we have. Fantastic. Right, let's pop that there. And then I'm going to pick that up, give it a bit of a shape. And then we're just going to tighten it up like that. And you can see there's a gap there at the moment because there's no nozzle in here. Now you can use a nozzle. You don't have to use a nozzle. It's entirely up to you. Um, but I'm not going to use one for this. Kelly, what do we do with those scissors? I've got them right, okay. So what we're going to do is we'll start with our um, doing one slice at a time. Let's bring them all round so we can put them into a pizza shape so we know what we're doing here. Look at that magic. So this is a seven inch pizza in terms of size. So there we go. Like that, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Right, so we're gonna cut the ends off. Just a little bit like that. And then we'll start flooding them. So let's pull them back a little bit like that. Where are we on the camera? And then with these, what I've done is I've set it slightly back. So you don't go right to the edge on these pizzas. So you want to go a little bit back on it. Now you can either do these really, really quickly 
or you can speed them up it's entirely up to you because it's a pizza it doesn't actually matter so this is like the equivalent of our tomato sauce isn't it really so um it doesn't actually matter what it looks like i'm now looking for a scriber are you ready for this comment i need a scriber oh, well, or a cocktail stick i know we shouldn't have gone on well i shouldn't have gone on holiday because i'm now disorganized what did i do with it is it no why do you keep I don't know what I did with the um, cocktail sticks. Oh, hold on. Right, cocktail sticks. Um, Dari says, I thought you overcame your addiction to silver balls. How wrong can you be? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's work in progress, this. <laughs> right, I've got my cocktail stick. I should have my scriber, but I haven't got that tonight. So there we go. It will be here somewhere. Right, so this is probably set. But anyway, you would now manipulate this to the edge. There we go, that's a little bit better. Now, if you've done this too runny, it's just going to flow off. It'd be off really, really quickly. So you don't want to make it too runny. Just take your cocktail stick, preferably your scriber rather than the cocktail stick. But anyway, take that. Leave that edge there because that's the edge of your pizza like so. Now, the other thing we've got here is unicorn sprinkles, of course. So we'll pop our little unicorn on first because I want that in that right place. I'm just going to drop it. Now that will stick to the icing. I'm just going to press it down with my Susan. with my she cocktail says... stick. And then what I'm going to do, I've got my unicorn sprinkles. And then I'm just going to put these on like so. There we go. And then obviously the return of the silver balls. So they have to go on as well. But they do work. So they're quite sort of bling, aren't they? They'll all be agreeing with me in a minute. There we go. We won't mention the story of how I cooked a pizza. I've just spotted who's on. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So let's go across these now. I'll show you. So this is a really good activity at home. If you want to do this with kids, we've got like little mushrooms ones as well. So if you wanted to make an actual pizza, then what you would do is change this food colouring to red. And then we've got little mushrooms and actually little pots of white chocolate curls. Now they work really well because they look like little bits of cheese. So they're actually quite good for this. So we'll just go round over this. I might put a bit too extra icing on that because it's running a little bit. Okay, but as you go, you need to be putting your decorations on. Otherwise the icing will dry and then you'll have a problem. So as you go round, just press these down like so just make sure it's stuck down don't press it down too far but it will be enough to stick and obviously when it's dry you can put some bling on it Rosemary says not white until some bling absolutely yeah we can we can put some um, glitter and bits and pieces on it as well can't we so there's loads of room to do all sorts of different things with this I've gone I put a tiny bit too much on that one but it's okay it's not run off the edge just yet let's turn that one round am I still on camera no I've gone off right so we'll go through the rest of these quickly and then we'll move on to the next thing. So once they're all together, they look really nice. So I'm going to complete this because otherwise you don't get the full effect. And actually, it doesn't matter if it runs off a little bit, does it? It's a pizza. It's meant to be a little bit messy. So that's OK. That's allowed. Um, so don't Have worry. Am I off? No, I'm not. I'm back on again because I checked. You're 10 seconds behind. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm on it, Kelly. You can put the unicorns where you want as well. You don't have to use the unicorns if you don't want to, but I just thought they were quite sweet. Let's push those down like that. There we go. And then, oh, I've got the unicorns then, didn't I? Let's put those on. Put some little unicorn sprinkles on there. Like so, look, there we go, let's turn that around. So you can get quite clever with this if you want to. You can design your own pizza, can't you? So once you've got your pizza cookie cutter, then it doesn't have to be a traditional pizza. It can be anything, you know, literally anything. All you need is just some sprinkles and a, some royal icing. And then you can make up a pizza. And they are fun to make. Who's just said their grandson, Maeve? Oh, brilliant. Yes, I did get some photos of people making these. And they are really fun to make. We do a nice little kit making pizzas with a little um, cutter. Pride, you could have done pride ones. I could have done pride ones, but you're going to do a pride paint for I me. I am going to do a pride paint. I know you are. 
pride cookies yeah we could do well we're definitely doing kelly's definitely painting pride aren't you yeah these are stuck together kelly what are those these cookie these unicorns they've stuck together these two you might have to cut another one out that one's okay just yeah i need one more got away with that one just about oh, there we go yeah we could have done some pride ones couldn't we we're definitely doing a pride paint um, I might do that next week actually. We do it next week, Kelly. Yeah. You could do the live next week. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Thursday one. No. Be... no. <laughs> oh, nearly forgot the silver balls then. Crime of the century. Let's not do that. Let's put those on. There we go. Oh, drop that one. So, yeah, the icing's running off a little bit, mainly on that one because I filled overfilled it when I was not concentrating, whereas the rest of them I look beautiful. And there you go. Don't talk and do a demo at the same time. That's the moral of this story. And at the end, we'll put it into a pizza box that we've got so you can see how that works as well. So we've basically created a kit so you can make your own pizzas at home. It's just a bit of fun. Well, I don't know want to do a live. I'm just scared, that's all. You've done a live, Kelly. Like, you're I, fine. I would paint, but... Yeah, well, I want you to I paint. I wouldn't do anything more. I wouldn't try and ice anything. No, I want you to paint. That's what I told yeah. you. But I wouldn't do pride <laughs> cookies. I don't trust myself enough. No, I said you could do... Um, well, we talked about you doing painting, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I'll do a paint. On pride. Yeah. We'll get her. Don't worry, I'll get her. Don't worry. I'm working on it. <laughs> I said I'd I've got her to teach a class. I'm sure I can get her to do a live. Can't yeah. I, Cal? Right, there we go. Nearly there. One more, two more to go. Off camera. No, I'm not. Um, not where I can see, anyway. Only when I'm turning things around. You were, though. Okay, thank you, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me when it's too late. <laughs> right, so there we go. So, fine, I'll do these two at the same time. And we've got that one done. Oh, now I put that in there, didn't I? Silly me. There we go. Now it's very, very warm at the moment. So if anybody is doing Royal Ice Cookies, I'm finding they're setting much quicker than usual, which is brilliant because that means that you're able to go through the stages of anything much, much quicker than normal, which is brilliant. It speeds things up massively. Trying to wait for Royal Icing to dry is a nuisance. So I'm quite pleased actually it's warm today. And Sue I... says, does this one come with a plastic base? That you no, can it burn? does not come with a plastic base. Many, many years ago, I should say this, many, many years ago, my friend Sue, who's currently on the chat at the moment, came round for lunch, didn't she? It was one of the first times she'd ever come round my house and I put a pizza in the oven and the plastic base was still on it. <laughs> and she's never let me forget it, have you? <laughs> she brings it up. Right, there we go. Last few unicorns on there. Okay. So there we go. So that's nice and easy, nice and quick. Little unicorn pizza for you. Okay. Last one. Put that one on there. Oh, we were trying to escape. Right. Apart from one I've overflowed, we've pretty much got it sorted. I'm now going to put this bag down. So I've got a free hand. That would be good. Right. Let's turn that round. And then what we'll do is leave that to dry, which would be preferably overnight because it's royal icing. Now this one here, what I can do with that one, what did I do with those cocktail sticks? Are they up? If I wanted to tidy this up, I can't say I'm, I'm too worried about it to be perfectly honest, but if I wanted to, I can always get hold of a cocktail stick that seems to be working its way across my table faster than I can get to it at the moment. Right, you can always just literally go straight down the side and remove any icing if you are thinking you don't want to have it there, but I'm actually not that bothered about it. I think it's actually okay. So I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to make sure it's not going to weld itself to the table though. And there we go. We've got a pretty little unicorn pizza. How's that? That looks cool, doesn't it? There we go. Very pretty, very quick, very easy to do. So there's a nice little unicorn one there. Now, what we're going to do, whilst we've still got the icing in the bag, is we're going to move on and we're going to have a look at the new one of the new lollipop moulds that's come in today. We'll look at but two of them actually while we're at it. So let's move this out of the way. I'm just gonna move my I mean um cutters, not moulds. Cutters, even Kelly. The new cutters, right? Let's move that. 
little mini tidy up while we're here. Let's put this over here. So we've got that. Ooh. We'll move that out of the way and then we'll bring in the new ones today. So we've got two sets of new cutters today. This is the first one. This one is um, like a twister lolly. And then we've also now got a set of three lollies here large medium and small so these have arrived this afternoon so they've only just come in these are my samples i've already well kelly's already baked them and we're on it already so we're going to have a look at how these work here so i've already taken this one this afternoon which is this one there if somebody's going to ask me how big this is i know this is coming let me just get my tape measure and tell you right so this one here inches and they're all quite I'm trying to get mine quite similar in size it's five inches approximately which is about 13 centimeters so lots of my cookie cutters are all, all coming up very similar in size now um so Ooh, shiny pretty pink things shiny pretty pink things yeah so this is the new twister lolly so I've already done a green um design across here this afternoon so I'm going to finish this off now with the pink that we've just got here um, I'm going to grab myself another cocktail stick because they seem to be vanishing before my eyes. So very similar to what we've just done. We're going to, are we on camera? Yes, we are. We're going to take hold of this. So I did the green a couple of hours ago. So that's now had time to set because I need that to be dry. Otherwise you get a bleed coming through, which is where all the colours start merging. If you're using something like black, then you really need to leave it to dry overnight to make sure it really does set, otherwise you could have a bit of a problem on your hands. Okay, so I'm gonna go through like so. Try not to get too near the edge because I don't quite know how runny this is. I don't want it running off. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in and then use my cocktail stick to kind of guide it into position. It's very, very warm in here. There we go, and then on to the next one. So you could do these in any colour you like, it doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you. Now you can either leave the stick the same colour as the biscuit, or you could do it the same colour as the ice cream cones, which is like a, the autumn leaf colour, which is what we did the other week. I'm going to just turn that round. So this is a new one today. This one is the Twister Lolly. And it is on the website. Kelly will put a link up for you. Um, you are going to have to wait a couple of days for it to arrive because they're these are the samples that we got today. I got a bit excited and started rapidly icing them because I thought they were so nice. Okay, so let's just move that around. So you can leave that stick either as is or obviously you can put some more um, royal icing on it. You might... You can either do a pink, you could do a pink stick actually, couldn't you? Or you could leave it like that. I think just leave it like that. So that's the new twister one. So that's that. That's what that looks like. Nice and straightforward to do. It's probably easier to do a royal ice on this one than it is a sugar paste. You could paint it though if you wanted to do a painting version of this. So there are some options with this. You don't just have to do it um, how I've done it there. But if you do these stripes first, just make sure you do the stripes, then leave it to dry and then come back and then um, a couple of hours later and then you can do obviously what I've done. So I did this a couple of hours ago, which means that I could finish it on the live. So that is that one. So I'm gonna push that one out of the way. Now this one here, this is the three different sizes of lollipop. So I flooded this one green this afternoon. There we go, the mini one. So size wise again, they are quite, should I tell you? You've already got it on the website. No, I haven't because it's not yes, right. You have. Have. No, I, I haven't checked it yet. Oh. So this one is five inches in length, which is again 13 centimetres, which is the same height as this one. And then this is the smaller version, which is a four, and then this one, which is a three. So they're roughly an inch different in size. So that one there, I've already done sort of a half one here. So I was just going to complete this one here by coming across here, whoops, and putting in pink layer and then we'll add one of our lovely stickers on here shall we Kelly you can pick hmm? which one do you want to put on this lolly 
What am I putting on what? One of these, um, one of our cupcake topper things. Oh, why did you put me on the spot? I'm putting you on the spot. I don't know. We'll go and have a look. Okay. You pick. It could be one of the fruit ones. I don't mind. The fruit ones are there somewhere. They might be on the pile next to me. You can't find them. Okay, and then what you can do is just whirl this around. Try this pile here. Oh yeah, that's fine. Anything that would go on here, Kelly, you think would be appropriate. So we're picking something off one of our sheets, which is called Fun Food. I've overloaded this slightly, never mind. I want this to join up ideally and be straight. Not much to ask. <laughs> It might be when it's hot. There we go. What have we got? Oh, lovely. Do you want anything else? We've got a little watermelon to go on here. So let me just, I'll just wipe my hands. Yeah, what else you got? One more. Strawberry? Yeah. So this one, um, so we've got this sheet here, which is called Fun Food. Now, this is one of our cake toppers. And what we've been doing with this, so it's a printed sugar paste sheet. And what we've been doing is cutting out little things like cupcakes, lollies and Knickerbocker glories and all sorts of things. And then sticking them on some of the cookies and all sorts of different things we've been doing. So this one here is Fun Food. I haven't taken the back off. No, that's fine. I can Let's feel it. Thank you very much. So we're going to just take this little watermelon off, put the little plastic thing in there so I don't get it in the way. What else did you give me? It's right next to you, by the pot. By the pot. By the pot. <laughs> I can't see I'm it. Blind. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you, Kelly. Right, okay. So we've got a little strawberry as well. So we've got a strawberry and we've got, there we go. So we'll pop that on there like so. And then we can also put this on here as well which we where should we put that round Kelly that way round I think okay and we'll just drop them on Ooh, no we won't we'll do it again dropped it on the thingy there we go that's better right and then we'll just press it down and then leave it to set so these are edible remember so that's all fine they're just edible print there we go and then we've got a another little designer lolly there so again I'm going to move that I'm going to put this back on my tray because I'm totally paranoid that I'm going to end up making them up and we'll let those dry and then we can take lots of photos of those later on and get them on Instagram I've got wires running everywhere this evening in the bid to keep my um <laughs> and keep my um phone from not going dead so those are the new three that we've got there so again very straightforward just make sure that you um do your icing in between each one. You can always mark it with a knife as well. If you want to do it with sugar paste, you could cut it out with sugar paste, take a knife, mark it across, and then paint each one individually. So if you're finding you, it's all getting a bit too confusing, then do that. Or even on the cookie, you can do that. Go across and just take a sharp knife and mark it, and then you'll find it'll be nice and easy to do. It's not too difficult, that one. Mummy. Yes, Kelly? You could do a drip on the green one, like... Do you want me to do it? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do a drip with some sprinkles. How about that? With pink. With pink. Yes, we'll do that, Kelly. Right, brought this one back. We're now doing a drip for Kelly. Okay, so not that Kelly and I are lolly experts at all, are we, Kel? No. More Mr. Whippy than... Oh, yeah, a couple of days ago... It was just me and mum at home and we had lunch. They I know. Went upstairs <laughs> and about half an hour after lunch, I FaceTimed mum and I was like, mum, would you like to go get an ice cream? She goes, yeah, go on then. And I like ran downstairs and she was like, oh, now. And I was like, yes, now. So um, yeah, it's and not... there was no parking. So she made me get out of the car and get the ice cream. <laughs> we sat well pictures on Instagram, Kelly. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if you want to do a little drip on top of a lolly, you can do that. And then you can take some sprinkles and you could pop those on as well, look. While it's still wet. Remember, it's got to be done while it's still wet. There we go. Like that. And you can always move them with your cocktail stick or your scriber if they're not going where you want them to be. If you're fussy like me. There we go. 
could do something like that. Are you happy with that, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Now, you could do one of those little faces on here, but I've got a funny feeling this won't have set enough because I didn't do it that long ago. But if you wanted to, to um, just do the little cute faces, I'm probably dicing with it a little bit here to see whether it's actually going to... I think potentially it might not be set in time, but we'll try anyway. So if you wanted to do some of those cute little faces, let's just do a little... So I'm just using an edible black pen. And it seems to be, oh no, it is collapsing. I can feel it collapsing underneath. It's not dry. Oh, it's not dry. Okay. Well, I were only done a couple of hours ago, so that's not really the surprise. But we'll, if not, you could pipe them. Yeah, or we'll, we'll paint them, but this will be fine. Look, I'm going to get away with that. Now, how cute is that? There we go. <laughs> I've done it. Can you see it? No, it's coming but it's coming now you'll be able to see it in a second and then you can have a little baby one to go with it kelly <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting seriously carried away let's give this one a bit more of a what do you think yeah. do you approve yeah okay we'll do this one as well now while we're at it so again you can just make the drips as long or as short as you want to as long as your royal icing is the right consistency you can always do your drip cakes with royal icing too, you know. You don't have to do them with chocolate. They can just be done with royal icing. Let's try some different sprinkles, shall we? Let's see what we've got here. Let's try these ones. So we've got these little strands here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So, yeah, if you ever have to do drips on cakes, you can use royal icing. So it's much easier to colour. Less faff. There we go. And anything that's not in the right place. I don't want you over there. Let's get rid of that. So you can just move it around. Don't try and do it with your fingers because you won't manage it. There we go. Something like that. They are cute, aren't they? So you can again, we'll do a little face. I'm dicing with it, but we'll do it anyway. So we'll just go. As I say, they're not quite set, so I'm having to be a bit careful here. But if you did them on sugar paste, you wouldn't have this problem. You'd be able to do it near enough straight away. Great Yay! Cocoa butter. Or cocoa butter, yeah. There you go, look at that. I love it. <laughs> right, let's leave those there for a second. So again, you can play around with this. You can make little characters out of them. All sorts of different things that you can do with them. They are really, really sweet. Um, so I think, let's say, they are... That is the little one and... The medium sized ones that's those so that one is three inches this one is four inches and the big one is five inches so just so you know what the sizes are on those does it cut okay on cake does it cut okay on cake mean cutters um I'm not sure. Would it cut sugar paste out? It cuts sugar paste out, if that's what you mean. We're going to do some of that in a minute anyway, so don't worry too much about that. So we will come back to how these cut with sugar paste shortly. Um, what I wanted to do at the moment was just show you these royal iced ones that we've done so that you can see how it works. Yeah, you see, royal icing, much easier to do. Um, right, OK, so we're going to have a look at the ice cream ones next. So we'll bring these back in again. And I have made a Mr Whippy. Of course I have. So we're going to recreate that now that little selection over there so we're going to put you there and there i might put you onto the tray actually because i'll probably end up making a mess oh my god please push that back on <laughs> it's not it any wobbles <laughs> it's fine kelly so last week we dyed up some sugar paste with the color autumn leaf which surprise surprise i've actually managed to get now and we're going to just recreate a couple of mr whippies which is obviously my favourite ice cream as it's been on my Instagram all week. Um, <laughs> I do apologise for my uh, huge number of pictures of me eating Mr Whippy. Right, so let's do that. Now we're inspired by it. So, sorry, we'll just get this lead back there again. I'm going to move you two back there now so we don't end up damaging them. Let's put those over there. Right, put those on my tray. There we go. A little bit of icing sugar down. So we're taking some autumn leaf colour, which is this colour here, and then we're just going to roll out. We're going to make a couple of cone bases so that we've got something to use for our ice cream. Now, earlier today, I did actually flood the base of the ice cream with the autumn leaf. That's perfectly possible. So if you don't want to use sugar paste, you can do that. 
tacky in here. It's very, very hot in here. Everything's a bit tacky. Like so. There we go. And we've got three... Have I got the ice cream cutter? Yes, I have. So this is our ice cream cutter. There we go. Ice cream cookie cutter. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the bases first. So all we need to do is we need to get a small bowl. And then we need to get... Can you put that in the sink, Kelly, just so I don't get that in the way? Thank you. I'm going to get some royal icing again. Just take the lid off my container, like so. And then we're just going to add a little bit of water to it. So we're going to make um, a bit of a paste, I guess. So it's just a bit sticky. Ooh, Kelly. Those paintbrushes nearly lunged at me. They obviously want to do some painting. Okay, right, let's take hold of a paintbrush. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to paint the lower half of this. So that's from there down. So it's just sticky. All right, it's not wet, it's sticky. People put too much water in and then they tell me their cookies have gone soft and you've answered your own question really, you've put too much water in. So you just need to put in a bit less and then you won't have this problem. And then we're going to take the cookie cutter, like that. So we're going to cut three of those out. If you know I'm not cutting the whole shape out because I don't need the whole shape, I only need this lower part here. that like so and then I've got my knife which we will then cut the bottom off these like so and then we're going to take a plastic side scraper because this has got a rather nice edge on it let's move that there so I don't get in a muddle there we go I've just read that comment about Mr Whippy. Well, we're on the Mr Whippy now. Okay, so what we would then do is we will then put them onto the cookie themselves. So we'll put all three on at the same time. If you're doing cookies in en masse, do all of the same thing once across the cookie, then go back and do it all again, because it's a lot, lot quicker than trying to do it all individually. It just takes too long. Okay, I'm just going to move that out of the way so we can actually see what's going on. There we go, that's a bit better. Then we're going to take this cutter here and we're just going to press this down. Like so, the bigger one's better than this actually. This big one got a double edge on it. Oh, well, it's fine. And we're just going to create our waffle shape. So that will come back across this way. So if you wanted to pipe this, what you would do is you would flood it first and then you'd leave it to dry and then you'd come back and you'd pipe your lines over the top or you can do it the other way around actually, it's entirely up to you. As long as you get that shape, it doesn't matter really particularly, does it? Okay, then we'll go on this one. But they're very quick to do when you're doing them, I'm doing taking my time because it's alive, but if you were doing them on your own, you would be able to do them quite quickly. Okay, there we go. Right, now we're going to turn these into Mr Whippies, which of course is compulsory. Now, uh, where's my piping bag? So for this you're going to need a number 1M nozzle. I did put some more icing in here earlier today, so because I was doing this, I'm hoping it's not set. No, brilliant. You'll need flakes as well, which I did actually manage to get. I thought I was going to have difficulty, but I wasn't. I did find them. Here is one that I haven't eaten. And I cut about, let me move that up there. So looking at this, oh, that's so nice. Let's put this on here. So we don't, we're going to make a mess anyway, so that's fine. So we'll go for about that sort of amount. We'll just cut that through. And ooh, we'll cut that in half. There we go, that's fine. That's all we need. Oh, the smell of this is just too much. Right, let's put that over there. And then what I did, I've seen it, there's another one. 
There is another one. Yes, Kelly. That's bribery. <laughs> a bribery for you. So it's a 1M nozzle with um, royal icing in it. And all I did was I took it and I went across like that. But I've kind of gone up. Can you see? I haven't just gone in a straight line. I've gone from there and I've gone up because I want to give the illusion that it's turning. And then I went across there again like so so it's going round and then for the final one i went round and up to the top like so then i took my flake and i popped it in there like that isn't that lovely <laughs> okay let's do that again oh heaven I know, they're good, aren't they? They're very easy to make, okay? Very easy and very quick. If you imagine you had to do loads of these very quickly, you would manage it. Now, I've got a huge amounts of icing in here, so we'll see how we go. So, again, you start at the top and you pull it down and you bring it back up again. So, you're almost making a sort of a semi-smiley face there. So, if you go across in a straight line, it doesn't work. You have to go like that. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. And then the final bit around and off the top there, which gives you a gap there to then put your flake in there. Now, my flakes are huge, so you don't have to do them as big as that. So if you want to do them smaller, then you can. Don't feel obliged to do them as big as I've done them. You can use all sorts of the flavoured icing sugar that Carol's got on this site, huge amounts of it. Um, so you've got loads and loads of choice. The consistency of the royal icing that I'm using on this part is the original mix. So that's the full bag mixed with 70 grams. Yeah, written on the back of the packet. Written on the back of the packet, is it? On the back of the packet? Yeah, on the back of the whipping it up, I told you how to make it. Did it tell you how to make royal icing on that one? You've read that. No, it tells you how to make Swiss meringue buttercream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Right, let's go. Let's do one more. So we're going to take it down. So make sure you go down. This is a smiley face. You have to really force that icing out. So you go down and round. Then back over again. Down and round. And then finally round and then up. Like so. And then pop your little bit of flake in there as well. You can be ungenerous with these flakes. You don't have to make them. Um, with a huge chunk of flake in there like that if you don't want to you can always just put in slightly less um, it's is that flake There's flake for you there. there. Um, it's royal icing. It's white. It is that's what royal icing is if you want to whipping it up I just want to say something about whipping it up um, What I find with whipping it up is that it can dry a bit yellow so what you need to do is you need to put in a little bit of um, some sort of whitener so something like white gel white powder um what's that um no sugar flare we've got one it's a little bit of just literally a tiny bit when you're making it up like a gram and then it'll stop it drying yellow because whipping it up can dry a little bit yellow um but they're very easy and straightforward to make as you can see now we did them the other week so we made some the other week using um the flooding icing have i got any hold on Let's see if i've got any ice cream cones left Let's do one a drip one just so you can see what I mean. So I'm going to put my Mr Whippy ones up there for a moment like so and then we'll bring this one in here. Let's get rid of this chocolate because it seems to be absolutely everywhere and we'll just make up another base. I'm not under the pressure I was under last week to get this all done. <laughs> Last week the clock seemed to fly. This week we've got a bit more time. The icing will set hard because it's this will set hard because it's royal icing. Um, but what you can do is you can um, add in a teaspoon of glycerin and then that will stop it setting like a brick. Because you know royal icing can sometimes you know you hear people laughing and joking about using royal icing and you know especially on christmas cakes and cracking their teeth well you know if you put a little bit of glycerin in it doesn't have to be a huge amount that will stop it getting quite so hard um but it is royal icing so it will set hard yes um you can make um royal icing with merry white yes you can 
that's actually the whitest way to do it is to do it that way right we're just going to do one more so I'm going to show you how to drip this one Kelly I might use to cut something else out when you finished eating your flake mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want something to go on top of this ice cream mm -hmm. so you could choose I'll let you as it's you okay mm -hmm. so we're going to make what are you going for you're laughing I said what about a bumblebee yeah it'll be you'll be good okay so we'll put that on there again and I put a bit too much icing on there but never mind it doesn't matter and then plastic side scraper what have I done with that everything seems to be disappearing tonight because I left it over there Kelly oh it's there it's got chocolate on it no there's loads there. all right I have another one because of, that one's got chocolate all over it thank you okay and then we'll just come across here again And do that and then what we'll do is we'll do a drippy one for this one so we'll get our pink icing back out again so we've got some spare oh I don't think your grandchildren's teeth will be worried too much about this they'll be fine <laughs> right okay so we'll get our royal icing back out again so this is what we used for our lollies earlier and then if you wanted to do one up here like this okay I've got a B so we just start round the outside edge all the way round and then we'll drip a little bit down onto the cone as well am I off now I'm on screen just about so we'll put some icing down the bag's getting in the way a bit okay there we go right let's put that out of the way and let's get cocktail stick back again so if you don't like the full sort of mr whippy look which of course is just not on in my case is it kelly and then you can always pull these drips down a little bit if you want to and take them out to the edge just go round and round in circles i should take it out there if it's the right consistency it will resettle you again see there we go and then Kelly's cut me a bee out this time so we've got a sheet of bumblebees we're going to come back to these again in a second so we've got a whole sheet of bumblebees for that so we've got one here I've got a cheeky one here so we're going to take the backing off hopefully there we go like so and then we can pop this one on here got a bee on an ice cream kelly honestly yeah well i think you know when you go to the beach and then the bee starts or a wasp starts attacking <laughs> you to have an ice cream right is that the theory behind this yeah. one okay all right so we've got a bee on an ice cream everybody and we're going to put some sprinkles on that as well i think what do you think yeah yeah and then we'll go across that there and again just pop your sprinkles on before it sets so for some mad reason we have a bee on this one but that's okay we don't mind there we go. Make sure the sprinkles are actually on the ice cream, not on the bee, because otherwise they won't stick. There. Okay. So that's another way of doing your ice cream ones. You don't just have to do the like Mr. Whippy. You can do. Um, I'm moving this across here, so you can flub them as well. You don't have to do them like that. But they are all right. They are all royal icing. Okay. So let's move that one onto my tray out of the way. I'm trying to be organised, which of course never works with me. <laughs> right. I just say the last lot of biscuits went off to uh, Watford General Hospital and they ate them all. And they were quite pleased with them, I think. So I think they're down for the next lot as well. Right. OK, let's have a look at a different shape. So this time... Oh, let's look at this one before I go too much further. So this one here, what I did with this is I piped. Um, so I flooded this with royal icing and then I piped lines across it this afternoon. I've actually pre-recorded this one. So there's going to be some videos coming out um, on just very specific ones to do with this. Uh, for those of you that have found TikTok, I am going to put them on there. Um, but I will also put them on Instagram as well. So you will be able to see them. Um, you wouldn't use buttercream on cookies because they don't set. So unless you're going to put as it a filling, then no, I wouldn't use buttercream because any of this that you try to do, none of it will set. 
um, and then it will end up all over the place. So that's the one, certainly um, how I did this one there. So you can either cut it out with sugar paste or you can do it with, um, use some royal icing that way. So there's another one there. And then we also have this ice cream from last week as well. Someone says they're wearing their Mr. Whippy pyjamas. Oh, what? Who's that? Linda. Plus, I'm wearing Mr. Whippy PJs. I need to find some of those. They sound rather good, don't they? They sound fun. Right, let's move those out of the way. And we're going to have a look at this one here, which is our travel cup. So let's move this one up there. She says, try not to knock everything off. No, we're good. Right, okay, so we have got this cookie cutter as well which has proved to be very popular and this is the travel cookie cutter and again lots of things lots of different designs that you can do with this you can flood them which I did do this afternoon and again I've produced another video that you'll be able to see later in the week so this is one I did with royal icing so again I flooded it across the top here and let them dry and then I made some little roses that are on there all with royal icing um, it is sort of set not really <laughs> it's, I, as I say I relied on the heat of the um, the afternoon to try and set them a bit quicker but we're going to just show you how to do this with sugar paste now again very straightforward not difficult and hopefully lots of different ideas for you to think about how you can design them I'm running out of space I'm just want to mention again about the cookie toppers what the cake toppers mm -hmm. right so the cake toppers thank you kelly these cake toppers here so we've got bees and all sorts of things uh, fun foods fun quotes princesses you name it there's about 70 different things like this now that are on my website on cake toppers and they're all on offer at the moment 10 percent off but you must use the code cake topper at the checkout so once you've placed your order if you put in cake topper then you'll get 10 percent off now that is only on my website it's not on sugar and crumbs but we've got loads of unique ones that we've designed um, and to go with lots of our cookie cutters so if they are of interest you go and have a look and then you'll see what i mean but don't forget that code okay it's really important right let's have a look at this one so what we're going to do here we're going to just do a, a quick one on here because then we're going to move on to the mason jar because i want to get that one that was the one i started last week and we failed to finish <laughs> well, we didn't fail we started with that one today we failed i know it doesn't matter we'll come back to that one we will get it done so this is our travel uh, cup so it's like a reusable cup and it's just a bit of fun this design more than anything else I'm just going to move those cookies down there just organize myself a tiny bit better there we go all right so I'm working at a funny angle <laughs> okay so a little bit of sugar paste again I'm going to just move these out of the way can I let's put those there I put this tray behind me because I'm very pleased with this tray and I've got a horrible feeling. Whoops. I've got a horrible feeling. I'm going to end up knocking it. So let me move this out of the way. Right. There we go. The pizzas are setting nicely, so that's what we want. Then we can move that over there and that over there. Okay, now we're relatively more organised than we were five minutes ago. Um... Loads of people have this cut. It's so much fun, this one. Mm. Uh, yes, we do deliver to Northern Ireland. So it's all on the website. Have a little look. So there's lots of things you can do with this. You can paint them. You can use, we've got fun quotes. We've got princesses. We've got all sorts of things. So we're going to show you a princess. Before we move on to, there's also anyone who's got um, Father's Day coming up this weekend. There's some little disc super dad ones as well that are quite fun so i'm just rolling this out i beg your pardon i'm slightly off camera a bit there we go so just take hold of the cutter now i'm just going to press this down for this one just give it a little wiggle take that away i'm going to be building jam pots and honey pots in a second when we go on to the next one there and then we also came up with another idea for the mason jar and turned it into a piece of bread <laughs> that was kelly's idea wasn't it kelly it, was my idea. it definitely was your idea that one that's all right okay so just take these again just pop your 
oil icing there's not a lot of water in there everything is setting so fast i can't even tell you in here it's just so hot it's hot 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 and then take hold of this and just lay it on top again you don't have to make this really thick if you don't like sugar paste don't make it too thick and then we'll just take a knife and we'll just cut it across so it looks like the top of the container so there you go you've got your little travel cup there and we'll do another one so we'll do three of these like so I nearly put that in the wrong one up there so if you were going on a picnic maybe this summer and you were going to take some biscuits with you you could take these couldn't you they're fun you could personalize them gear them up to what people want them to be and then we'll do one we'll do one lilac coloured one yeah you could have fun with this and do sorts of different things so put down our ice in again and rolling pin there we go you can paint different coloured tops so if you want them to be a different colour you could paint the top half of them which we'll show you in a second we'll get our paints out in a minute I can actually find them on my desk because it's chaos. Yeah, I, can see <laughs> I can see the I can see it just about Kelly. Okay, I'll give that a little wiggle and then take that out. Like so. There we go. All right. So we take hold of this. Just paint that on. And that's our last one. This will be our bling one. This will be our princess one. We might have to put silver balls on this one, Kel. Fill the balls. <laughs> okay, so got, you're starting your addiction again. I know. Well, it hasn't. I have not. Would the icing stick? Would the icing stick with icing sugar in this? Yes, it will. Yes, you don't have to use some um, royal icing for this. So if you haven't got any royal icing made up, and you've got some icing sugar and water, then use that. Piping gel works as well. If you've got piping gel, the only slight problem with piping gel, it doesn't actually stick. It just gets sticky. So you've got more chance of it kind of yeah getting really sticky and i don't really like it like that so i prefer it to know it's actually stuck down thank you very much so that's why i do that so what we're going to do with this one we're going to imagine this we're off on our picnic and we've got um so we've got a little girl with us or a little boy whoever likes disney princesses me kelly so we've got sheet here of disney princesses or not disney princesses princesses off brand disney off brand disney princess they're not disney <laughs> So we've got all sorts, you can see we've chopped a few out on the way. So we're going to pick a princess. So which one would you like, Kelly? Oh, here we go. For which cup? This lilac one. In your own time. Not the one in the middle. This one. You want the blue one. Okay. All right, I'll humour that for you. I don't suppose you know if there's less sugar in sugar paste compared to oil icing? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's a quick answer. <laughs> You'd have to research that, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna take our sheet. So we'll cut our princess out from here. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to trim around the outside edge of her. We're not gonna go right up close. Um, otherwise we're gonna end up chopping off half her arm probably. So we'll go in close-ish. There we go. So we've got mermaids. What else we got, Kelly? What do you mean, princess type of mermaids? We've got fairies. Fairies. We've got ballerinas. Ballerinas. We've got cats. We've got, we've got Belle. We've got Belle. Well, Belle inspired, I should say. Um, Funny cacti. Funny cactus. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Little baby elephants. Are you going through them now for me? Yeah. Little baby elephants. We've got. I'll just put the link up. All sorts of different cake toppers that you can use, not only on your cupcakes, but on your cookies as well. So you don't have to use them on cupcakes or your cakes. You can use them on here as well. And I love edible printing. It's one of my favourite things. It's very effective. Okay, let's move that up there like that. So we're going to have this one on here. So she fits really nicely on this as well. So again, we'll just peel it back. Now we're going to stick her on with water, not with royal icing. Okay, I'll just peel that back. 
everything is a bit sticky Ooh. okay right so just remember we've got 10% off these so if you use that code at the till is it in all caps or in capital letters cape, all caps. cape topper yeah for 10% off use cape. code take cake topper cake topper that's it Kenny hmm. right so we're going to put her you would have loved this Kelly oh yeah if I put this in your lunchbox at school, you would have gone mad. I know it. Could have been the only thing already. Because then I would have written your name on it and everything. I wouldn't have been able to stop myself. So there you go. You can make little tiny travel cups with little princesses and fairies and all sorts of things on it. It's very, very pretty. And we can paint the top half in a minute. We'll come back to that. And then we've got another sheet called, and what's this one called? Fun Quotes or something. And that one there, you we've just cut out the word cute and put a few Fun sort of... Quotes. Fun quotes, I think that one is, Kelly. And we've just cut out the word and we've put some little stars on there. But there's all sorts of different words on there. Um, but if the idea of something a little bit more um, decorated is for you, then we've got this sheet here, which is called Strawberries. OK, let's look at this one here. It's fabulous. So what we're going to do with this, we'll move those over there. So again, this is another sugar sheet. Do need to have some sugar paste down on it before you attach this. And remember, we only need that lower portion of this. We don't need the whole thing because that's the top half of the drink. OK, so we're going to pop that on there. I'm going to have to turn this round so I can actually see it. My ability to see it is, is not required normally. <laughs> Let's put that on there. Edible pen will help you. So if you've got an edible pen... I'm trying not to move, wreck that cookie that I did oh, earlier today. Bless me. Are you sneezing, Sorry, Kelly? I didn't mean to do that. Are you sneezing? You've got hay fever. Really bad hay fever. I know, we both have, haven't we? There we go. All right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to mask it as well. So I... Just like to point out here, this is what happens if you get water on this. So if you get any water on these edible papers, the paint immediately comes off. So you mustn't get water on them. So if you do make these, probably top tip is put them in a little bag or something when you've done them. So make sure they don't end up getting any water on them. You know, you, sometimes you pack, pack lunches and things and then they can end up with all sorts of liquid in there. Or well, maybe that was you, Kelly, because you never used to put the drink, the lid back on your drink. Well, I never used to drink my I drink. never, You never used to drink your drink, and then it would come back with a lunchbox full of liquid. So just cut round like that. And then you've got a very nice strawberry one, you see, with hardly any effort at all. Let's go that way. OK. Oh, down there move that out of the way so there's a whole sheet of those there's a big a4 sheet of those again we've put our sugar paste down already so all we're going to do is find the water there it is take the water and just very carefully just put it on that lower half mind you don't get it on there and then we'll peel the backing off she says confidently everything is very soft in here at the moment because it's hot it's getting hotter i think we're down near central London, so <laughs> it's very warm this evening, probably 27 degrees or so. So, yeah, it's, and we're going, we're working against it at the moment, but we'll be okay. Okay, and then just lay that down. It's like putting wallpaper on. There you go. And then just lay that down on there like that. And then you've got yourself a nice little travel cup without too much difficulty there. Look at that, all looks lovely. And actually, when these are all lined up, they do look super smart. So there you go. You get loads out of a sheet. There you go. Can you see that sheet on there? You can see here, literally, you can get, gosh, I just imagine you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine or so out of one of these sheets, as long as you don't get water on it like me, then you'd be fine. And if you wanted to do a one for Father's Day, then we've got some superhero ones. Super Dad. Super Dad. That's a good idea. You should do superhero. Well, yeah, but again, it'd have to be superhero inspired, wouldn't yeah. it? So we've got super dad ones on discs. So if you're doing cupcake bouquets or cupcake anything for anybody, treat boxes, that kind of thing, these are quite good. Again, they come off in little, peel them off, and then you can just pop it on like that. My dad would eat this, Kelly. Yeah. 
your dad would probably go, well, what do I want that for? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and my dad would like this. There we go. So something along those lines. So there's so many different ideas that you can do and you don't have to be the world's greatest artist. You just have to um, look at the bits and pieces that we're literally putting out there for you to have a go with. So say we have things like fruit, which we did the other week. You can see we chopped at it the other week and we chopped at the watermelon earlier. So there's all sorts of different ideas that you can use on there to make kind of all this type of thing. So let's get the final cutter across, which is the mason jar, which we started last week and then we had to abruptly stop because we had to come off the live. So let me get that. She says, try not to drop everything in the process. So what is a mason jar? That is a very good point, isn't it? Let's start with what it actually is. So there we go. I'm gonna just move this other tray out of the way so we're not getting in a muddle here. So this is the mason jar. We also thought it looked like a loaf of bread. <laughs> so this is one that I did on another live and all I've done here. So a mason jar, um, like one of those jars that you get, you know, in the centre of wedding tables, that kind of thing, people put flowers in them. This was piped with royal icing. So just a number one swirl nozzle there. And then we used, uh, I think it was an 18 there to do some rosettes and... 352 Wilton to do some leaves and number two to just do some little blossoms down there but you can make up these little kind of displays of flowers the other alternative of course is we can turn them into jam and honey pots which is what we're going to do now but before I show you that I'm going to show you the other idea that we had and I've filmed this today so again this will be coming out later in the week and that is how to make <laughs> we thought this looked like a loaf of bread so Earlier today, I piped this as a loaf of bread, quite a brown loaf of bread, but anyway, a brown loaf of bread with an egg on the top of it. So all I did was I went all the way around there and flooded it, left that to dry overnight, came back earlier today and just did the yellow in the middle, left that to dry for another two or three hours, and then I went all the way around that with some white royal icing. Exactly everything that I've done up to now, I did on this, but I had to keep leaving it to dry. So the white on here isn't actually very old. It's probably maximum about two or three hours old at the moment. So it's having to be a little bit careful. Um, but it was just a bit of fun using the same shape to show that cookie cutters, even if they are, this is what this shape is, you can use them for different things as well. So that was our piece of bread with a fried egg on it. So <laughs> Um, that's what we did to change that. So we've set these up also to be um, jam pots. So we're going to show you how to do those now. And again, you can do the same thing with the strawberry as I've just done with the other ones. I'm going to move this out of the way because it's still drying. Let me put this over here. So if you wanted to turn one of these into a strawberry pot without actually doing anything too drastic, again, you would go back to your strawberry sheet take hold of it here now we've got some different toppers for this so we've got a different idea here because clearly the top of this needs to be covered so I'm going to show you how we do that as well so let's grab the pen and we're going to take this and we're going to go all the way around the bottom like so I've lined it up with that top bit there so I don't have to keep cutting a straight line I'm trying to save myself some work really um, it sort of works. I'll turn that round. So we're going to make a sort of a posh, a posh. Um, it's not really a mason jar, is it, Kelly? What is it? Just like a posh jar. <laughs> I can't think of the words. It's, it's just a jar. It's a jar. <laughs> it's a posh jar. <laughs> okay. So we're going to come along here, cut round here like so and then we'll cut across the top there like that and again there so we'll bring this down here so this is what we made last week okay so that's going to sit on there like that so we'll get our water again and we'll just go across like so and we'll peel this back she says I hate doing this live, this bit, because it never peels sometimes, because it's too hot. <laughs> We're just panicking. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's get rid of that. 
So we'll line that up at the top there. And we'll stick that down. Like so. And then what we're going to do, we've got this bit here at the top that we need to deal with. So we've got a couple of ways of dealing with that. One of which we're going to use a another sheet, except I can't see it. There it is. We're going to use this sheet here, which is red gingham. So we're going to pop that over there. We're going to take the top of this and I'm going to measure it. Am I on camera? No, not at all. That's no good, is it? So one, two. So... What I'm going to do is set this up. I'm going to show you. Oh no, I need to come up a bit. Right. Okay, now we're on camera. So I'm going to set this up so that there's one, two that are in line with this one here. So there's the line that goes across there. I want two squares down from that included. So it's one, two, then there's the line, and then anything else that's left. Okay. So I'm going to take my pen. And I'm going to go round, Ooh, holding on tight for dear life. There we go, like so. I don't think that's the most brilliantly drawn line, but never mind. And again, it will go up. And we'll go round, like so. I'm going to cut that piece off there and just get rid of it so it's not under my not flapping about. Okay. And then we'll go down to there, like so. Cut that off. And then we're going to cut into the bottom of it like this. Now, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this off first because it's easier without it being attached to the backing. So take the backing off first. Otherwise, you're cutting twice. So get rid of that bit. And then we're going to take this and we're going to snip little, uh, what are these, triangles, I guess, across there. It should be easy enough to do because you're just lining it up with the squares. So you're not trying to work out anything particular. You're just doing it like so. There we go. Take that away. And then we'll bring this back in. And then we'll take our water, try and get rid of the excess here, and we'll put some down like that. So don't put down too much. And then we're going to pop that. Oh, got one still attached. We're going to pop that then over the top of our, like so. And then we've turned that into a pot of jam. Make sure I've got that level, yes I have. And then you can draw a line using the plastic side scraper because otherwise you end up with it going a bit haywire across here. So you can pop that along there, like so. There we go. And then you've got yourself a pot there. So you've converted the mason jar which had the flowers in into basically a completely different concept which is like a jar with a pretty jar with some that kind of top that looks very kind of homemade and bits and pieces like that. So we're going to show you how to do a honey jar now and also a strawberry one that we're going to paint. So we're going to do this slightly differently. So that's the ones that you would use if you were using a pattern. So we'll leave that there and we're going to show you how to do it if you painted it. Let's just have, have to have a little shift round. Which sheet can Louisa not find? I'm not too sure. If you tell us which sheet it is, Kelly will put it up for you. If I it... have linked all the sheets so far. If it's the gingham one, the gingham... Now the gingham comes in a set, which is a set that I just linked, which is gingham and 24... Uh, it's two types of gingham and 24 jar labels. So with the other one, we're going to show you these now. So we're going to show you that comes in the whole set of the jam jars with the gingham. Let me just bring in the cocoa butter. Here we go. Right. Let's put that there. So we've put the cocoa butter in. Let's just get my... 
So we're going to paint these ones. Now what we did earlier is these were done with white sugar paste. So we're going to paint these ones. Actually, I'm hoping softish because I did those last week. Let me just see if they're still soft. Ooh, not really. Might have to redo that one because otherwise I need that one to be soft. Let me redo that one. Otherwise, I'm going to find that one tricky. That one's okay. That's the other one. Right, I'm going to cover one more mason jar. If I can find them. We've got cookies coming out of our ears, literally. <laughs> Turn round, and there's another one. Right, so what we're going to do is just cover this one. I need this sugar paste to be soft for this one. So I'm just going to recover this. Hopefully I've got enough to do it. There's the cutter. So I've been so tidy, I've tidied everything away. Place that one on there. Give that a little, little twist. Not too much of a twist, otherwise I distort it. And then we'll, again, we'll just take our icing, pop that on. It will make sense in a minute why I need this to be soft, otherwise it's all a bit kind of where well, it doesn't work. So we need to do one with one that's soft and one that it doesn't matter. So again, we'll pop that on. There we go. Happy now. Okay, so we need a Dresden tool. This is a Dresden tool. It's got a sharp end on it. That's what we're going to need. And we're going to take hold of this and we're just going to use the side of it and we're going to make what look like pips in what will be raspberry jam i guess so we're going to go all the way across here like this so this is an alternative to the sheets so if you don't want to um do the sheets and you want to have a go at doing something a bit more you know uh something a bit different so a few of the cocoa butter people out there the cocoa nutters as kelly calls them cocoa nutters. the cocoa nutters if you want to get your cocoa butter paints out i nearly said the wrong word then um then this is something you can do so we're going to go across here we'll just keep turning it around hopefully you can see what's going on there we go so we're making like the pips really and the, the dresden tool is quite a nice shape for doing something like this just keep it tipped up on its end and just keep going round lots of different directions. Now I'm sure someone's going to say in a minute, why don't you just do it with red sugar paste? And that's fine. You can definitely do it with red sugar paste, no problem. Um, but you'll find that by painting them, you can get a bit more shading going on. It just looks a bit more interesting. So, but yeah, by all means, do it with red sugar paste if you want. That's entirely up to you. Okay, got a feeling I've got icing sugar all over me, Kelly. Well, we can't see you, so it's okay. That's fine, until I turn the camera back round. I'm probably the same colour as my dress now, bright orange. <laughs> it's so hot in here. Okay, right, we've done those. Let's get this lit. Where is my fancy lighter that I bought? Oh, you're going to be impressed, everyone. I've finally done it. Finally gone out and bought fancy lighter. Don't faint. Right, let's move that across into the middle. So this is a chrome food warmer. I'm going to light it. Look at that. Da, 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 da. And then I'm going to pop my metal paint palette on the top. I'm going to put on some cocoa butter, which is going to melt very quickly. Okay, like so. And we're going to paint one of them um, like raspberry jam and another one like honey. Ooh. So we're just going to strawberry. Stra no, raspberry. Cut your strawberry. You what? The you drew a strawberry. Oh, you did a strawberry. Okay, well that's okay. That's fine. Right, colours, Kelly. Right. Let's see what we've got. Okay, red and honey colour. Let's ask our queen of colour what she would recommend. Oh, we'll also bring this one. I know, not rose gold. Right, we're going for this one here, which is red. And what have we got here? We'll go for those at the moment. Let's start with this one. Let's 
So we'll start with red. Oh, we need some white. And um, yellow and cream. Is it yellow and brown we did? I can't remember what you did. I don't know why you did it. I think I did yellow and brown. Primrose yellow. No, that looks too bright. That one. That's way too bright. This one. Too bright. This one. No, the primrose is that one, yeah. This one, yeah. And brown. Okay, let's find the brown. There we go. Right. Okay, so we've got red there. We've got a little bit of white, which is crucial. Let's pop that on there. Okay, so these are dusting colours, okay, so nothing too complicated and strange. And then we have got a yellow, lemon yellow this colour is. Put that there and a tiny bit of brown, we only need a little bit. You won't go through very much dusting colour, hardly anything, especially for something like this. You won't go through a lot at all. Let's move that up a little bit so you can see it. Right, we just bring my chair in. So we're going to use this paintbrush here. Now this is called a flat two. This is one of my paintbrushes and it's quite good for kind of getting across this quite quickly. So it's a flat two paintbrush. We're going to check there's no colour in it to start with by just dipping it into the cocoa butter just to check, which is all fine. And then what we're going to do is dip it into the cocoa butter there and we're going to pick up some red and we're going to mix it. Now we're going to just add a tiny bit of white to start with because we don't want it to be um, dark, completely dark. We want to be able to have the ability to shade it. So if we add white, then we have the ability to shade. Okay, so then all we're going to do with this one here is we're going to start here. We're going to come across it. It's going to look pretty much the same colour until we darken it back to the red. Okay, so we're going to go across here, like so, and we're just going to paint that lower half, like so. You can see it's picking up all these little seeds really well, they really stand out. it's nice and shiny as well so there you go you could actually spray this with glaze afterwards you know so if you, it maintains that shiny look like a glaze spray that would look nice because obviously when it dries it's going to go matte okay there we go like that so if I won't want to make it darker in places so we'd be looking at having some of it darker down the outside here what I do is go back to my color and pick up the red itself just so it's neat red so no white in it at all. I'm not going to bother to clean my brush because I will have minimum colour in there. I'm just going to go for neat red. And then while it's still wet, we're going to start round the outside edge here and we're just going to make it a little bit darker. Just pull that round. Hopefully it's coming up on camera. Like so. Still use burgundy if you want. You can use burgundy if you want to get a little bit darker still should be picking up okay yeah Kelly Colour Queen has recommended burgundy as well but it's mainly across these sides here that you can make it a little bit darker I think it's picking up there you go it's better if I hold it like that can you see that it's because the light's shining on me I'll come across the bottom here as well You can just drag it across a little bit further if you want to and then that will dry normally very quickly unfortunately it's very warm in here at the moment so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal but you can always speed it up by putting them in the fridge that sometimes speeds it up there you go can you see that so it's not flat so in other words it's got some shade to it and it's nice and easy to do when it's still wet because it blends really well. It won't blend very well if it's set. Um, so you do have that to think about there. Right, I'm just going to clean my brush up. So I'm just putting it into the cocoa butter there and I'm just wiping it on some kitchen roll, paper towel, like so. I'm just going to move that to one side. I'm going to bring this one in and we're just going to paint this one up like honey. So we're going to use this lemon yellow colour. 
and we're going to mix that with a little bit of brown so it's not so bright because it's quite bright at the moment stick a bit of brown in there we'll get Ke Kelly the queen of colour to come and look <laughs> and then a little bit of white like so, so we just mix it around let's have a look here and see what we've got look a little bit bright Turns where any honey's come from, I guess. We're going to just put this one across here. Again, you don't have to, if you don't want to, make it completely solid. Have you got any white in that? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because I'm watching you make the colour now. Oh, I see. Yes, I have put white in it. Is that alright? Yeah. It needs white. It does. going to leave that bit in the middle there like that I'm going to leave that bit because we're going to put our so we've got a choice of labels here we've got little round ones with honey written on them and we've also got a bee in fact we could probably get both on there Kelly couldn't yeah, we cut out if you can cut out a bee put a bee with a name on it one of those ones that got names on them Where this is. like so I've got one pair here but you can't have these ones because I need them <laughs> oh Let's put that brush down there a second. Well, I'm going to have to take this. I'm just about to cut this one out. Let's move this out of the way. The little ones were over there, weren't they? Yeah, I bought them over here. All right, you take that for a minute. There you go. Well, I'll just take this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the gingham tops on here and some of the little stickers there and we can turn those into little honey pots as well. So they will be a honey pot there and um, a jam one there. Now the travel cups, can you pass me the princess one please? Thank you. Thank you. So you can also paint the tops of these as well. So if you wanted to paint going across there, just that little area there, you can do that. Some different colours. So if you wanted to paint this one, what would we do? Let's have a little think. Blue. Blue, right. What, petal blue? Yeah. Can you see if oh, you've got these scissors in your hand? Okay. There's petal blue. Right, let's put that one in. So if you wanted to paint the top half of your cup, you can do that. Again, we just take our, ooh, hot. These get very, very hot, as I normally find out That's when I so grab it. Lovely. Thank you. Can you cut out the two jam pot things as well? How? Have you able to mark them? No, not those, the um, the labels. So we can take this. Now this coverage is really good on here. You'll be able to see how quickly this picks up. Can you see the difference? So if you want to just paint the top half of it, change the colour to match the dress, then you can see how easy that is. So we're using a flat two brush to do that it's just quick you can use any paintbrush but it's just a lot quicker with this one than it is with any of the others paintbrush two or three is quite good for this as well but this just happens to be the one I've grabbed today so there you go so that one then starts to look a little bit more like it belongs together what else have we got over there I was thinking you could paint the lids as well with of the honey pots with um Carol's sugar the wonder dust wonder dust that's the one the, um, I don't know what they are. I don't know what we've done with them. Do we take them back? I saw them on the side earlier. I th oh no, they're over there with that crown thing okay, I've wait. got. Can you get the gold one over? One we'll do the gold one. So we'll do a gold one with the wonder dusts as well. Gold. There's definitely one called bright gold. Sparkly. Sparkly gold. On which one? Oh, I'm saying why don't you do it on the um, honey pot or the jam pot? You could do it on Super Dad. Let's do it on the Super Dad one because I want to put the gingham ones on there. So we're using this one now, which is Wonder Dust Sparkling Gold. So this is ca um, sugar and crumbs. Let's turn that around. This paints really well with cocoa butter as well, so don't worry about um, using this with them. What you find with luster dusts though is that the cocoa butter gets absorbed very quickly, so you do need a bit more of it. It's also leaping about, which is not helping me. There we go. And then all we'll do here 
this paint a gold top you know like when you get on those um when you go to um well-known chains and buy a coffee the cup colors tend to be like this color okay so we'll put that over there like so so again you can pick any color you like it's quite good coverage isn't it on that i think that looks really nice so that was the bright gold color okay look at sparkling that gold. sparkling gold so that starts to make these look more complete than just leaving them you can leave them white i'm probably going to leave this one white because i think that goes with that quite nicely so i'm not going to fiddle with that one i think we'll just leave that one as is but if you do want to paint the tops of the travel cups then you can do that as well so back to the honey pots let's move those out of the way and then we'll bring this back in again so we've got a green gingham as well now that is the there it is so we're going to cut this out again i'm working in about a two centimeter space at this time <laughs> oh help <laughs> all right let's put that over there i'm trying not to spill any water on anything that's the key to this everybody don't spill water on anything let's move those back a little bit so i can get an inch of space so again we'll do the same as before so we'll go up two little squares actually find the green gingham one is a little bit smaller than the red one so we'll go around there get my finger in the way my finger is definitely in the way and probably my hand as well there we go right so we'll do where's those scissors gone there they are I'm just going to cut that off the sheet because it's just easier for me to show you live than it is to juggle. There we go. So we'll take hold of this and again we'll do another top for the raspberry jam or strawberry jam. Does it matter? It looks quite similar, doesn't it? So that's fine. So we'll come along here and cut it along. And then we'll do our thing again. So we'll peel it off next. We'll get that bit done. Otherwise, it's more difficult to deal with. There we go. Like that. And then we'll cut it again like we did before. So straight across. It's like country fair stuff. This would be right up my, my mum's street done loads of designs tonight haven't I if you've missed out on any of it there was also a video last week of all these cookie designs different ones so if you've enjoyed this evening and you want to go back and have another look go onto my youtube channel and you'll find the other cookie part one that was on there let's get rid of those and you'll see that as well so let's bring this one over uh no we're not we'll do the we'll do this one on the honey one so we'll take our water again just put a little bit on there well, we find the cocoa butter still sticky because it's hot so we'll pop that one on like so i think it's sticking hold on let's put a bit more water down it feels like it's moving there we go that's better so we'll pop that one on like that and then we have also got some other little um, labels here now this these have been designed by the lovely kelly Yay! <laughs> we've got strawberry jam and homemade honey so she's done a little bee on there so they will come in a little sheet you have to cut them out um because we want you to have lots of them you see if we put them on these pre-cut sheets sometimes you don't get as many and we didn't want them to be too big actually so that's why we did that as well which is also why i can't get them off here because it's too hot in here Do you want me to help? now i've done it now but it's hot 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 now I don't want to damage the cocoa butter so I need to be careful I'm going to put this little bit of water on in the middle because you can see it's ripping it all off and then we'll put that on there yeah it does look a bit more like lemon curd but there we go okay so you can always do a lemon curd one there and again what we'll do is we'll take our plastic side scraper and we'll go across here let's hold on tight Uh, 
like that. So that's our little honey one. And then we'll finish our little jam one. I'm going to put the label on before I lose it because then I won't, I'll be annoyed with myself. Oh, we cut a bee out, Kelly. We're not going to get the bee on as well, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. No, it's all right if you get it. If you wanted to put a B on, you can always put a B on instead. You don't have to put on these labels. There is a little key B that you can use as well. So let's peel this one back. You can put the water straight onto these. The only dilemma with that is sometimes they get a bit too wet and then you've got a problem. So I, I usually just guess and put it on here. I'm usually okay, I'm not far out. I'm gonna put the strawberry jam label on there. There we go. You need to do the gingham for this. Yeah, I'm just about to do that. Um, red gingham. So we'll go back to our red one again. Pop that there. There. Bring that in here. Juggle my sheet. All right, I'm off camera at the moment. Let me get back on. I have to cover everything up to do it. Right. Again, just draw round, last one. So if you wanted to do these in advance, let's say you had to make a load of these, then you've got your sheets, you can literally cut them all up way before you need them and have them all ready. The only top tip I would say to you is keep them in a bag and keep them sealed because these sheets do not like being exposed to the air. The minute they're exposed to the air for too long, they start to crisp and then they become really difficult to use so you must keep them sealed all right so when we send these out to you they are in a bag and they are sealed um tight and there's a little sticker on there to remind you as well you mustn't leave them out of the um out of the bags when they're not in use now if you just take out one or two that you need and then you can pop them back in again that's fine no problem but if you leave that bag open you'll find that they will dry out um, going back to the cookie cutters as well, please don't put them in the dishwasher, okay? They don't like dishwashers. You must keep them, just wash them with some water, soapy water and that will be fine. Please do not put them in the dishwasher because they will melt. Okay, oh, I tore that one because I went the wrong way. It's very, very hot in here, so everything's a little bit under pressure, including the poor person trying to do the live. <laughs> okay, right, let's go across here torn it a little bit but that's okay it doesn't matter we're going to go with it at this stage it's fine okay right move that the way bring that across take hold of my water we're nearly there and then put that in like so and place that on top so it's a, an absolute village craft fair going on here tonight a farm shop a farm shop we've made our own farm shop haven't we kelly that's what we've done so i'm going to just take my little bit across there we've got there we go like that perfect lovely Right, let's move these bits out of the way. Oh, the wire's coming down again. Let's move that over there. Attempt to clear up. <laughs> now we're going to put our pizzas in a box in a second. We're going to do that. Remember we did our unicorn pizza right at the start. So we're going to get that out. But there's our three jam jars there, all ready for our, our village fair, or whatever Kelly called it. What did you call it? Farm shop farm shop we're opening a farm shop so yeah all ready for our farm shop and then what we're going to do is we're going to put our pizzas into our pizza box next so we're going to do that now so let's move that over there so for those of you that missed the start we made some pizzas some unicorn pizza actually so we're going to put that into our box now so we're going to get our I've moved this out of the way. I blew that out, Kelly. Remember, we always do this. She comes home and she goes, Oh, I haven't done it. Oh, I forgot. I know, and then I have to come back again. It drives me crazy. Right, so we've got these pizza boxes here, so we're going to fold that up. Nothing worse than assembling a box live. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. You see that just about. Stay. Right, so we made these earlier. This is our little unicorn pizzas. I'm going to pop these in now. So this is a seven inch pizza box. So you can make these. Imagine doing this as a like a little activity for a party or you can make them for your next door neighbours or something. Our next door neighbour would like this, wouldn't she? Yeah, should we give it to her? Yeah, we can give this to Sandy. She'd love this. I just think this is the best thing ever. So then that fits in. Am I on camera still? I am. There we go. How about that? So that then all fits into a seven inch round pizza box. And we have, she says somewhere, what did I do with it? If not, get Kelly to grab me a label. The pizza label from the other side, which I have one, but I've buried it somewhere. And I've got sheets everywhere. So when you finish this, then we have got pizza labels as well. Thank you. So you can see all your box. So we're going to bring that down like so. Put that over the top. I'm trying to do this with a camera in the way, so I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Right, I'm making a hash of it because I can't actually see. There we go. Right, so we've sealed our pizza. That's all in. And then just to top it all off, we've got a nice little pizza sticker here to go on top you can pop on your box that says handmade by me how cool is that there we go so a nice little cookie pizza all made by you how about that right <laughs> what an evening we've had making cookies we've done loads uh, we're done right i feel like all my um i'm looking a bit bedraggled everybody <laughs> apologize it's so hot in here anyway okay so there we go that concludes our evening of making cookies or decorating cookies i hope that you've enjoyed it so we've done oh we started off with all sorts didn't we i've completely forgotten we started off with the unicorns and then we did ice cream uh, mr whippy and some drip ones some travel cups some mason jars that we turned into jam jars so all sorts of different ideas on there huge number of ideas for you so um, hopefully there should be enough there for you to think about um, doing some cookies, um, getting involved in them. They're not too difficult to do. They are quite fun. Um, the website address is up there at the moment, tracyscakes.co.uk. Just remember that the cake toppers are on offer until Monday. So that is 10% off um, by using the code cake topper. You have to use that code because believe you me, if I have to get my calculator out, then it's going to go wrong. <laughs> so uh, it's very important that you use that code and not let me have a uh, loose on anything like that. Um, I'm glad you've enjoyed the live. Thank you very much for all your lovely comments. Thank you for uh, asking questions during the live. Um, it does help us to keep things going and also um, I know you're there and I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> I know I've got Kelly here, I can see her. Um, thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you very much. I will be back at half past 11 on Thursday. So if you do miss that, just remember you can watch it on YouTube afterwards or you can watch it on Catch Up. I am going to be doing a cake. I'm going to be doing a birthday cake for somebody. So I will be doing that on um, Thursday morning. So I could be here a while. I might have to start a little bit earlier. We'll see how we go. But I'm going to do a birthday cake on Thursday morning um, for a friend. So hopefully that should all be fun. So have a lovely evening. And uh, oh, it's so hot. It's unbelievable. Take care. And I will see you all on Thursday at half 11. Bye for now. Bye.